And good evening and welcome to Tiger Talk from Buffalo Wild Wings on Columbia's southwest side. I'm Mike Kelly, Mizzou coach Gary Pinkel is alongside. To finish off the game, go to midfield, shake the other guy's hand, and look around that stadium and see basically your fans are the only ones that are left. That's, that's pretty good. I wish I could do that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... It's, yeah. and, and you think about it. I mean, you, you go back to Indiana, you go to Vanderbilt, you go to Georgia, uh, Kentucky, certainly the same way. We saw it, uh, obviously, this week at Ole Miss. Um, the home crowd starts to leave early, and the Mizzou fans just settle in like yeah, they're right that, at home. That's, that's great to be able to do that, and it's, uh, you know, that's also difficult to do. We, you know, we, we, we've five, we've five and zero oh right on the road this year. Yeah, first time since 78. Yeah, I think it was only the second time in my career that, we, we, that we've done that. Why Missouri? What was it about this program that attracted Shane Ray? It was a family atmosphere. When I was a recruit, uh, I came to a basketball game, and uh, Jeremy Macklin was here, and Sean Witherspoon was here, and I was, you know, able to talk to those guys, and uh, I asked them, you know, what, what made you guys make your decision? You know, why did you guys come all the way to Missouri from Texas? Or, you know, Jeremy Macklin, being from St. Louis, why, you know, why did you stay? And the first thing they said was the family atmosphere. They said, you're going to be taken care of. People are going to look after you. And we're all brothers here. And I'm, it just sounded like when I got here, you know, I wouldn't really have to worry about things and I'd be able to fit in. And, you know, those guys have my back and I have theirs. And that's what it turned out to be. Was it the players that first mentioned family atmosphere to you too? Yeah, it was players. I mean, when somebody, like, as a teammate, you have that other player's back, I mean, you just shows, like, you're going to, like, that teammate's going to be there no matter what through thick and thin. And coaches also, I mean, it's just a tight-knit group, and then nobody can else interfere with that. Brayden Burnett, you didn't always have a beard. Where did that come from? Uh, you know, it started this year. Uh, my buddy Andrew Wilson and I got together, and Max kind of edged us, nudged us along the way. Um, Andrew and I came together and said, you know, this is our senior year. We're probably going to have jobs after this, I hope. And uh, so, you know, both have to be clean cut and shaven for the rest of our lives. So we decided that we were going to make a little bet and see who could go the longest. Um, unfortunately, Andrew, with that, that red hair of his, he couldn't grow a beard. So he decided he was going to grow his hair out, and I would uh, grow my beard out, and we would see who could go the longest without cutting it until the year was over. And what's on the line? Pride. Just personal <laughs> pride. <laughs> this experience of... Uh, of being at Missouri and being a part of this band of brothers, can you put it into perspective? You know, right now, I feel like we're so entrenched in it right now, I don't wanna pull myself out of the eye of the storm, so to speak, but, um, you know, I know Braden can share in this feeling that we just, we feel really blessed, you know, um, along the way, five years of, of being in this program, and and growing together as, as a class and, and as a team. Um, we've had a lot of good experiences and uh, we feel very blessed to be to be a part of this. You know, I just fell in love with the place. Uh, exactly what Shane Ray said. It's just such a family oriented program. And, um, you know, it sounds cheesy, but when you get here, you don't really think of it, but the coaches uh, become your like your fathers and your teammates become like your brothers. And um, everyone's treated just with the utmost respect and fairness, and it's just a great, great atmosphere. For everybody, Shane always tells people he's from Missouri when in reality he's actually from Kansas. So <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> it's not true at all. <laughs> Shane, what's your address at home? My my address is 5414 Norton. If you, if any of you look that up, <laughs> it is in Kansas City, Missouri. I assure you. <laughs> Shane Ray. Here's the beauty of this: you get to go last. Tell us something about Randy that he doesn't want us to know. Oh, okay, my turn. Um, Randy has a nickname on the team, and he goes by Thick Ponder. And the story behind that is simply is uh, Randy's one of the heavier cornerbacks on the team. <laughs> Not true. We, me and Brayden have an interesting relationship. Um, Brayden is very cleanly. Um, I am not. Um, and we're locker mates. Our lockers are right next to each other. There's Burnett and there's Copeland. Um, his locker is very clean. Uh, mine is not. Um, and <laughs> 
he, he has this towel. There's a grate that separates our, our lockers. Uh, you know, this little metal thing with holes in it. And he, uh, he invented something out of necessity um, that he calls the O-line stench barrier. It is a sacred towel that he's used athletic tape to support over this grate so that the O-line stench doesn't uh, seep out from my locker into his. And um, that's really, I feel like, sums up our friendship pretty well. Um, I would say so. <laughs> you know, it really speaks to his ingenuity and smarts and, you know, that could be some sort of entrepreneur uh, endeavor, some sort of marketable O-line stench berry. I don't know. I, I would like a cut of that profit, though, if you do market that. Well, just, Your just, turn. To, just to add to that, you know, uh, Max on his cleanliness, uh, I give Max's locker a grade each week, and he slowly improves. It's up and down and from, you know, downright dirty to uh, somewhat clean. Uh, <laughs> but um, something that Max that you probably wouldn't know about Max is looking at him, you know, he might not be the handsomest man or, you know, maybe the most friendliest looking guy. I know there's a bunch of guys that said they were afraid of him when they first came here on recruiting visits. Uh, so uh, what you guys most, don't know, most people don't know is that Max is actually a very, very kind hearted and nice man. So, and a very good friend and a good teammate and brother to all of us. So very good person. Thanks dude. The senior days, uh, whole different emotional uh, thing that uh, the seniors and I will talk tomorrow about that. Uh, congratulations to our, our SEC champion volleyball, champion team, volleyball yeah. team. So I want to make sure I got that out. And also we're playing basketball tonight. Good luck in basketball tonight for everybody and all everybody. And so uh, I appreciate you all being here all season long. Really do. And uh, got great fans and uh, it's, uh, it's awesome. And let's just have a great day Saturday. That does it for Tiger Talk on the Tiger Network from Learfield Sports.